Today we're making this super delicious, super easy, no need apple cinnamon bread with a brown sugar maple swirl. <gasps> so beautiful, so delicious, and so easy to make. Want to see how we do it? Just keep watching. Yum. Okay, so for this recipe, we're gonna start by mixing together one cup of milk along with a half a cup of water. And then we're gonna heat this up to about 110 to 120 degrees. Okay, so into the microwave, it's gonna go. All right, so once you got your milk and water mixture to the right temperature, let's see, 117, 119, that's perfect. You're gonna dissolve one tablespoon of sugar in here, and then you're gonna add one packet or two and a quarter teaspoons of active dry yeast. All right, so we're gonna let this soak in there and allow it to bloom for about five, 10 minutes. All right, you can see how poofy it's gonna get. Nice. All right, so while we're waiting for the um, yeast to bloom, we're gonna peel and dice um, an apple. I'm using a Granny Smith. We need about two, one and a half to two cups of diced apples. This one giant apple should do the trick. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna dice that up. Just like that. You'll see I cut them into about a half inch dice. All right, and that one giant apple was enough. I got about two cups. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna add some more ingredients in the bowl. All right, so to the apples, we're gonna add a quarter cup of granulated sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of ground cinnamon, and then three and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. You can use bread flour or whole wheat or any kind you want. I'm just gonna use all-purpose today because I don't know what I do with my bread flour. <laughs> All right, so that's three and a quarter. All right, so now we're gonna mix this up until all the ingredients are fully incorporated. So once your yeast is bloomed, you see it has a nice big head on it, we're ready to pour this into our flour mixture. Get that all in there. And then just with a fork, you're gonna mix it all up until there's no loose flour. It's a no need recipe. So nice and easy. Yes, smell that cinnamon already, nice. So we're gonna continue to mix this. And once there's no more loose flour, we're gonna cover this up and we're gonna allow this to sit in a warm spot for just about an hour. So you wanna cover this with some plastic wrap. The dough should be a little sticky, but if it's too dry, you just wanna add a little bit of water. But this looks like it's gonna be perfect. That's it, it's ready. So now we're gonna cover this up, but it's in a warm spot for one hour. We'll see you later. All right, so we covered this with some plastic wrap, nice tight seal, but we got an hour to kill. So you know what that means. That's right, it's cocktail time, <laughs> yeah. All right, so for today's poison apple teeny, we're gonna start with two ounces of apple cider. It's about a half an ounce of cranberry juice. one and a half ounces of apple schnapps. Ugh, landscapers. <laughs> and lastly, one and a half ounces of vodka. All right, so we're gonna shake this up. Nice. And we pour. Ooh. That looks extra delicious. Nice. Taste test time. Cheers. Ah, oh, that is so good. Think like a super smooth apple tea, but just with that extra tartness from the cranberry juice and the apple cider. Mm. Oh, that's so good. So smooth. 
Oh, hello. How you doing? Did you want some? All right, I'll share. All right, here you go. Wait a minute. Are you old enough to drink? I don't think that's very funny at all. All right, no drink for you. So at about the 30 minute mark that your yeast has been rising, you're gonna wanna um, preheat your oven to 425. So this way, once your um, oven hits temperature, you're gonna add your Dutch oven and let that preheat for about 15 minutes. Who are you staring at? Oh, you again. All right, so now in the meantime, we're gonna to mix together in a separate bowl, a quarter cup of brown sugar, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one teaspoon of vanilla, along with about two teaspoons, uh, I think about two tablespoons rather, of maple syrup. All right, so now we're gonna mix this all together. This is gonna be the, the swirl in your bread. So you want this to be pretty sticky but not too runny. So, because we're gonna roll out the bread a little bit, we're gonna, pull, we're gonna spread this in the middle of it, and then we're gonna roll it. So then you're gonna have this beautiful swirl in your bread. All right, this is how it should look. A little clumpy, a little sticky, but mmm, it's gonna add so much flavor. It's gonna be so good. You can even add raisins to it at this point, but eh. Raisins are just filler. <laughs> All right, so now we're waiting for everything to preheat and for the dough to rise for about another 20 minutes. All right, so once the dough has been rising for about an hour, look how big it got. Doubled in size. You're going to scrape this onto a floured surface. Remember, this is going to be very sticky. All right, just like that. Make sure you get all that goodness. This, this is going to be so yummy. Can't wait till the French toast I'm making this with tomorrow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yummy. All right, so we got this all out of the pan. All right. Then, let's spread this out a little bit. We're going to top it with a little bit more flour. All right, spread it on. And then we're just going to fold this in on itself a couple times just to make it nice and smooth. We may need some more flour. go. I'm going to fold it like that, and like that. All right, see how nice and smooth it's all coming out now? Oh my god, this is sticky. <laughs> all right, one more time this way. All right, so now we're going to try to spread this out just a little bit. Actually, let's flip this over, get some more flour on here. Use all this flour that we have on our surface. All right, so now we can move this around. So, remember that beautiful spread we made for the swirl? Right, so we can make this into a nice square. I need more flour because it's all sticking to my fingers. All right, just like that. All right, perfect. All right, so we're gonna roll this out like that with our hands. Looks good. All right, so now we're gonna grab, oh, we're gonna take the dough off our hands first because <laughs> we don't wanna lose any of this. All right, so now, uh, sticky. <laughs> we're gonna take that brown sugar mixture we made and we're gonna spread this right on into a nice coating of this. Try to spread it on as best as we can. I should just use our hands. There we go. All right, because this is going to be the swirl in the middle. I'm not going to say what this really looks like, but I'm sure you can use your imagination. <laughs> all right, so let's scrape this all out of here. Get this all on. So then. So when you slice it, you're gonna see it. And your 
definitely going to taste it. All the way to the ends, like that. Okay. Oh, so messy, but yum. It's going to be so good. All right, so we're like trying to mix this all the way so you get it all throughout. And if the swirl is inconsistent in some areas, it's okay, because you're going to have it everywhere. All right, so now we have it nice and spread. I'm going to wash my hands really quick, because my hands are beyond sticky right now at this point. <laughs> I didn't say this was a neat thing to make, but it's going to be good. I promise. I promise. Totally worth it. All right, now we're gonna roll it up. Let's make a nice loaf. We lost an apple. Get back in there. And some sugar, there we go. All right, so now we're gonna roll this up. So we're gonna start from here, and then just pick it up and roll it. Right. So now I'm sure you get the, what's gonna happen here. All right, so there is our loaf of bread. All right, so we're gonna get this on a piece of wax paper, of parchment paper, I'm sorry, and then into our preheated Dutch oven. All right, nice. All right, so we put it on the parchment paper and we carefully placed it into our preheated um, Dutch oven. Super hot, super hot. It maintains temperature like crazy. So now you're just gonna wanna drizzle with a little bit of vegetable oil right on top. Just give it a nice little coating, a nice little crust. All right, you can use olive oil if you want to, but I think the olive oil just has too much flavor to it. That's why I'm using vegetable oil. Then we're just gonna make a little slice like that. And then with our pot holder, we're gonna cover this up again. And then into the preheated 400 degree oven, it's 320, 425 degree oven, it's gonna go for 30 minutes. All right, so make sure you set your timer. 30 minutes only, and then we're gonna unveil and then see how it comes out. So what do you think, little girl? Are you excited for the bread? Are you excited? The house smells amazing already. <laughs> you can't wait. <laughs> All right, so 30 minutes are up. Time for the big reveal. Let's see how it looks. Let's see. <gasps> oh my God, look at this thing. Really? Seriously? Oh, this looks amazing. Absolutely amazing. All right, so we're going to put this back in the oven for just about another five minutes. <gasps> Look at it. Do you see it? Oh, and I wish you could smell it. That cinnamon. <gasps> oh, yum. All right, so back to the oven. It's going to go for just about five more minutes, just so it gets a little bit more golden. And just make sure it's cooked. Oh, but it looks, oh. So yummy. All right, so we let this cook for another five minutes, but look at this. It's got a little extra crispy, a little bit more golden brown. Oh, and it's so tender. Look at this. But it's just gonna have enough, just, just enough crunch on the outside. That's why we use the milk, because it makes it that much more spongy. See, it's spongy. <gasps> but oh, it's gonna be so amazing. And we gotta let this cool, because this will, <laughs> this will burn the roof over our mouth. We don't want to do that. So we're going to allow this to cool for an hour or so. Now we're going to try it. Oh, but isn't that pretty? <sighs> and how long does this take? Two hours? You can't buy bread this beautiful. Really, you can't. You really can't. Yes, Lulu. Ah! I, I know you want the bread. I know, I know you want the bread, but it's still too hot. It's got to cool. It's got to cool. You're going to burn your mouth, okay? Ah! See, Drake's going to wait patiently. Doug's so kind of patient. You gotta be patient, Lulu. You gotta be patient. It's too hot. The bread is too hot. You gotta burn your mouth. See? Oh, look, a little behind the scenes. This is what I use to uh, to film when I'm hands free. <laughs> look, I gave everybody a behind the scenes. That's fun, right? No? Uh, all right. Cool faster, bread. Cool faster. All right, so we've allowed this to cool. It's probably still a little hot, but let's slice it up. We're gonna go right in the middle. Just to that crunch. Are you ready? Let's see how it looks. 
Wow, do you see this? Look at that bread. Is that not gorgeous? <gasps> oh, look at all those apples. And there's that swirl we were talking about. Oh, yes, yes. This is what I'm talking about. All right, time to give it a try. Taste test time. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> oh my God. I said before, say again, you cannot buy bread this good. Look at it. Look at it. The apples, the cinnamon, the hints of the maple from that swirl. Oh, mmm. Mmm. Crunchy on the outside, the way bread's supposed to be. And oh so chewy on the inside. You can't call this bread. It's like a <coughs> cake. <coughs> yeah, so you'll try in a second. Oh, but. <coughs> oh, it's so <coughs> good. So if you try this recipe, let us know. <coughs> oh, that's cinnamon. <coughs> <coughs> Thanks for watching. <coughs> Who's ready for some bread? A little first. There you go. Right. What's everybody think? Was that good? Was that yummy? Did you like it? I guess I guess that was good. And now you want more? Pause up. Everybody gave me their pause up. All right. Another successful recipe. Yay. Glad you liked it, Lou. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Poppy's Cucina. Thanks. Well, hey there, buddy. Do you want some bread, too? All right, you got your plate ready? Here's some bread for you. <laughs> you like it too. Yay.